Hello everyone, my name is Cynthia. Welcome to Apollo School Online. This is a drawing that we're gonna do for this class. Are you ready? Are you going to prepare your tools? And let's see what tools we're gonna need for today. Okay, today we're gonna do the watercolor. All right, so don't worry about the water. Don't worry about the color for now. We just want to do the pencil outline at the beginning. All right, so first of all, we have to check out our paper. You must to have the watercolor paper. That's a special paper for the watercolor. So you will see watercolor on the cover. All right, and remember the mixed media paper. We can do the dry media work on the mixed media paper, and we also can do some light watercolor on the mixed media paper. All right, so either one, watercolor papers or mixed media paper. So can we use the printing paper for this time? No, we couldn't, all right, because that's too thin. And when we apply the water on the paper, it will be red. All right, so no printing paper. Only watercolor paper and mixed media paper. All right, so we don't need to worry about the watercolor and the brushes for now. You only need to have a pencil because we're gonna do the outlines and erasers, the sharpeners in case. So how about the tracing markers? We can keep that at the end. If you can't make the color looks clean, you can make the color stay inside, then we can trace after the joints. All right, same thing. We need to have two different sides of the markers. All right, even we might not use it, but we will see, all right? The thin one and the thick one. All right, so make sure you have the right paper. And we can start. All right, so we're gonna do the watercolor. So make sure you are using the watercolor paper and use your hand to fill the paper. The from where we're gonna do the join is very rough, the rough side. And the back side, it will feel more smooth, not much textures. So make sure you are using the right side. All right. If you feel like front and the back touch like the same, which means you can do both them. All right. But normally they only have one side. So make sure you are using the right. All right. So pencil erasers, we're going to do a big plant. All right. So place your hands at the middle of the paper, give yourself a dot and the bottom. So you have four dots. Use this in four dots. I'm gonna do an oval. All like the oval. So I can press my hand in it. Okay. So I want to do three paddle on the top, three paddle on the bottom. So the top, I want to follow a dance at the middle. That's my first one. Second one. Third one about a thumb size. One, two, three. All right, then we turn the papers around, flip over, it's easier. Now this time I want to borrow two fingers. Place on the top, one, a little bit angle, Two. Three. And turn around. And let's see. The bottom three will look big. The top three looks small. But we have a few space left. So we can use one fingers to do the other two paddle on the right. So that's the middle one. Three small one, 
two middle one, three big one. And same thing on the other side. One fingers. One. And two. All right, we done our small daisy. Okay, then make sure you don't have the extra pencil line. Keep your paper clean. If your paper is a little bit rush, and just make sure they are very neat. There is no extra pencil line. All right, take your time. All right, so I want to do a stem. I can have my stem on the left. One, two. How thick is the stem? About a pencil size. See, about a pencil size. Smaller than my fingers, but bigger than my pencil. About the pencil. And they all the way down are the same size. On the top to the bottom, they are all like a pencil size. Not too big, not too small. All right, then we can do the leaf. Let's see. From the base, the bottom, a curve up, a light. All right, and my leaf on the right hand side, going down and touch the paddle, I have to stop. The leaf is continuing, is continuing, go behind the paddle and going back to the point, the same point, not here, not there, up to going back where they are. All right, and from the top, then we do another curve going down like a big smile. And same thing, it going back to the point. All right, then you can add the V shape on the V. All right, like the V shape on the leaf. That's my leaf. It's easy. The flowers with the angle, we see more on the front and see a little bit at the back. Then we have a big giant leaf. All right, so now I give you about five minutes to think about the background. What do I mean by the background? The background can show the location. Where is the flower? Is it in the garden? Is it in your room? Is it in the wonderland? All right, so you have to add three background to tell me the story of the joint. Do you need a butterfly? Do you need a ladybox? Or do you need another flowers? All right, I want to three. I want to see three backgrounds, three extra items on your joint. All right, so now you can begin.
So let's see mine. I have a face on my daisy. All right, and I have a flying ladybug and the bushes. That's my background. All right. So if you haven't done the background, keep working on this. All right. But for who is finished the background, I want to grab your tracing markers, and because we are going to do the watercolor, so make sure your markers has the permanence on it. So which means the markers ink is waterproof. All right. So if you are not using the waterproof markers, let's show you what it looks like. Let me find my regular marker so I can show you how you will beat. All right, and let me do this on the back. All right, so that's the permanent markers I trace on top the paper, and that's just the regular markers I do all the same. All right, then when I brush the water on it. Non-waterproof markers will be blurred. That's not good, right? And the permanent marker will be stayed there, just what it looks like. Okay. So make sure you are not using the regular color markers. You have to use the permanent markers or the waterproof markers. All right. Okay. So remember, we have to use two different size of the markers, the thick ones and the thin one. The thick one to trace somewhere big. Something is important, right? My focal point is my daisy. So I'm gonna trace it with the thick markers. Okay. And the thin markers will only use for something small or something like the decoration, like my ladybug. All right, it's very small, so I'm not going to use the thick marker to trace. Otherwise, everything will become black. All right, so now you can start to do the tracing. If you down the background,
All right, so when you finish tracing, you have to remove the pencil line because we are doing the watercolor. So we have to keep the pencil line off from our paper. Okay, so try your best to remove all the pencil outline. Always keep our paper looks clean and professional. All right, so let's see what we're gonna need for the next step. Okay, so after we done the pencil outline for our watercolors, okay, so let's see the tools that we need to use for the coloring. Okay, first of all, we are not using the pencil to do the color, we need to use the brush. So make sure the brush is very soft, okay? If you have the brush like the grass, very dry and very hard. That is not for the watercolor, that's for painting. All right, so make sure your watercolor brush is correct. It have to be soft, all right? So I need to have a big one, the middle one, and the teeny tiny one for the small area. All right, so that's the brushes. Of course, we need to have the water, and I would suggest that you can have two container for the water and make sure they are the cool water when we need to. One for washings, one for a pry on the watercolors. Okay, so we can keep the one of them looks always clean. And one for washing the dirty colors. All right, so it's better to have two. All right, and we also need to have the towel. All right, so this is the fabric ones. I can reuse it all the time. So that's my watercolor. So you can see how dirty is it. Okay, and if you don't have the towel just for watercolor, you can have your paper napkin, but better to have the one that you can reuse it. All right, so we don't waste anything. All right, so of course you need to have the color. If sometimes the color looks like to the tube like this, you can scratch on the trayer that you need. All right, so that's a container for my watercolors. And we need to mix the color or create the color. So you need to have a plate or a trayer, okay? So we always mix the color on the trayer and the plate. So make sure you have the plate for that. Okay. All right. So that's see you have everything. Brushes with different sizes, water, colors, towels, and the trayer. All right. When you're ready, then we can start to do the colors. All right. So first of all, let's do it all together. Okay. So about the daisy flowers, the petal, you can choose any colors you want. You can have all of the petal looks different. All right, so I'm gonna do my first. I want to choose the orange so you can see it's more clear from the screen. So see, I scratch just a little bit, right? I'm not that greedy. I scratch a little bit, it's smaller than my nail. All right, so make sure you scratch very, very gentle. All right, and let's see. We are not going to just apply the color on the paper. That is not the watercolors. If the watercolor is without the water, that's not a watercolor. All right, let's see how I'm doing it. Let me move a little bit on the side. Let's see. Let me zoom in. Let's see. We added a little bit of water on the trayer. And bring the color mix into the water and let's see i mix them probably now they looks like the juice very liquid that doesn't look like something like this this one's sticky right so you can see the shade a little bit sticky it has to look like that watery all right make sure you mix the water and the paints very nice and gentle See, I didn't push my brush, I always drop my brush. 
very gentle. All right, then let's see. I color around, so you won't see the textures. You have to be a little bit watery. I color around, then I can color at the middle. So if I have too much water right there, I have to dry my brush. Okay, then use my brush to remove the extra water. Not the fingers. Fingers is not working. Not the towel, not the napkin, always the brush. If you accidentally apply too much water on the paper, always, always dry the brush from the towel or the napkin and use your dry brush to remove the extra water from the paper. All right, so let's see one more time. I'm gonna use different colors. All right, I'm gonna use the pink color. Same thing, not greedy, just a little bit smaller than the nail. Okay, make sure I wash my brush before I touch different color. Wash the brush before you touch the other color. All right, bring the color, mix with the water. Always mix with the water. All right. So now it looks like the water color. All right. So I color around. I color around very gentle and carefully. I'm not doing very rushing job. Right. And I can color at the middle. Too much water, dry my brush. Remove the extra water from my brush. Not the napkin, not the towel, not my fingers. All right, so now you can begin. Remember, if you all you want to switch the colors, make sure you wash your brush or you change the brush. All right. Now you can start.
Okay, so before I start to do the face, my paddle are still wet. I'm not going to do my face, okay? But I can do the color inside the mouth. Let's see my brush. My brush is too big. It's very easy to color outside of the mouth, right? So which means I have to change my brush to the smaller one so I can be more easy to color my mouth and the tongue. Okay, so you have to switch the brush. The small area, you're gonna change to the smaller brush. The big area, you can use the big one. All right, so always change the brush as you need. Not too lazy. All right, so whatever how small is this, remember to always add in the water to mix with the colors.
All right, so feel free if you want to color more background like the sky You have to be careful. You have to wait the daisy is totally dry so you can color the sky All right, so If you don't want to color anything and you think the color looks good now, then you can find a spot To write down the date and the day uh, and the your name Alright, so that's everything for today.